Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is me, Raznak, here on Jones Dairy Farm. And it's harvest time. It is here. The crops are ready. The fields are ready. Um, we're going we to get this stuff done. Um, not sure about the weather here, but uh, it's, it's early in autumn. But I don't want to wait around too long. I really want to get um, this stuff off. Get it harvested off. Start some uh, some fall tillage. Get get the get everything can done. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've done all the maintenance prior to. Uh, it's been a few days. Not a whole lot going on on the farm. Just cleaning up after the animals, making sure they're okay. The animals are good. Um, got quite a bit of milk already. It's for the the horses. The horses are in good shape. Uh, I went and bought a. A little bit of oats. Which we're gonna have more here soon. And uh, cows are doing okay food-wise too. They're not out. They're running low. So thank goodness the corn's in because we can get that chopped and made for silage. But we're gonna jump into 1660 and we're gonna get right to work. We're not gonna beat around the bush. We're not gonna round. Gotta get this stuff done because we got a lot of work we need to get done in the next next little bit. So. Tell you what, I'm just going to go up to the first field we run into, start harvesting, kicking the lights on here. It's early. I got up early. Got the John Deere out with the Brent. It's working. All right. Tell you what, let's jump in our GPS to maximize our time here. Locking our course and let's get to work. Yeah, we really want to get this stuff off. That way we can get to work. We need to uh, get a lot of work to do this fall. A lot to do. We gotta get the fields harvested, gotta get silage made, we gotta get another cut of grass in. Uh, we can, it's actually ready. We probably can cut it. Um, in the weeks leading up to this, I've been helping my neighbors. Uh, made a little bit of money helping the neighbors out, get some tasks done. Uh, one of my neighbors had a big corn harvest. Or corn harvest I helped him out on. That turned out nice. Made a little bit of money helping all these guys out. So we gotta bale this straw up. Got a lot of work to do. We should have, should be able to get it all done. Not too worried. But, uh, I hope we don't miss anything. It's not quite right, is it? Let's adjust our, uh... Let's just adjust our harvester here. Probably better now that we've got that adjusted. Curious to see what kind of yield we get. And we just have a few small fields planted at oats, nothing major, nothing big. We got one here, one here, and then one over there behind the cow barn. Our other big fields planted in corn, which we're going to chop all that with silage. Which is going to take some time. Be too bad. Got the nice K1660. Nice harvester. Yes, classic. Still gets the job done. This thing got 3,500 hours on it. I spent a couple thousand getting this thing fixed up buy a whole bunch of parts for it, get the header worked on, header needed some work,
little dust in the face there. Better get the drone out of there. <laughs> Looks like the sun's coming up, so we'll, just, we'll probably just go with the one light. The other one's burning. See our... We're near full yet. Don't oh, worry. Yeah, I'm really, really curious to see what we pull off of this. Oh, depending on how the market is, we may hold this in the silo. We're going to be boarding the horses. That I'd like to keep some feed around for But if the market if the price looks good, we may may sell it. All depends on what the all depends on what the price looks like. It's definitely the important part. Somehow our cutting width is off on our on our. Uh, Device here. Let's try to fix that. Kind of making a mess, but that's okay. Might as well work the kinks out in this first field. That's for sure. Been looking into uh, some side businesses. Um, I've got a bunch of empty space over there by the horses, and um, talking to a guy down at the co-op about putting some greenhouses in. Doing a little uh, pick your own vegetables. I'll put the greenhouses up, and uh, won't take much. A little manure and water, a little tension, and then people can come by and pick some fresh produce. Uh, you can do that year round. That'd be nice. Apparently, there's there used to be a place where, like pick your own stuff around here, but uh, went out of business. Like a lot of things here around Jones. Back in the heyday, this place was just a bustling agricultural hub, but now we had a econ economic downturn in the 80s. Kind of put a lot of farms under around here, and then another downturn. We all know the financial crisis that uh, that that hurt a lot of people. Hurt a lot of people. Clean this up here. Okay. See how this one. So what we'll do is we'll get this oat harvest done. Um, I'll keep the footage running, but uh, for you at home, we'll just the magic of editing and make things go a little faster. So yeah, we'll we'll get this knocked out, and we'll see you soon.
that's it. We got it all harvested. I'm just gonna, uh, I parked the case over in front of the shed. We're gonna empty that out and uh, see what kind of totals we got. Put that in the silo. Let's see what we got here. The anticipation, the waiting, just, <laughs> just painful. Um, it would be a little less than twenty thousand liters, not not tons, um, but enough enough to keep our uh, keep the boarding running for the horses. Maybe take on, we might be able to take on a couple more horses if we can find some clients. Um, we've got space over there in the barn for them, and there's plenty of little grazing area for them and plenty of room for them to stay active so let's uh, tell you what we'll put this in the, uh, jump over here and turn the add on all right and we got that going yep I'm not gonna use the dryer we'll just have it run right into the small into the small one that up. There it goes. You're running up in there. Excellent. Yeah, so we, uh, it's a nice deal. We got some oats. Um, definitely for the horses. If the <laughs> I'll, I'll watch the market if the price looks really, really good, or if there's somebody here locally that's looking for them and willing to pay well, I might just go ahead and sell them. We'll just have to wait and see how we market those and how we how we get our money back out of that. Um, but what we're going to do next is uh, I need to really get this straw off the field. Um, I should do that or let it sit a couple days. I'll go over and check it here. See, see if we can. Should be able to just be able to take it, but almost empty by the looks of it. Come on, almost there. There we go. Close that up. All right. Let's jump back in there. Let's go park this, um, just over on the side of the building for now. Put the harvester away here later. I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep this, it's this, I mean, we got the 4955 running, so we might as well use it. Run over here and grab our baler real quick. And, uh, put it to work just for a few minutes and see if, it, see if we can get some bales made. the old new Holland roll belt. I was around these a lot when I was a kid, so I'm pretty familiar with this kind of stuff. This and like uh, some of the smaller square balers. Spent a summer helping out, helping out uh, stacking bales. Clean this off real quick. This is fairly, fairly new piece of equipment, and uh, fire it up and see how it runs. I don't, I don't think we're gonna need to repair this. Just have to get this muck off where it's been sitting. It's good. Right.
Drop our pickup here. And it's running. Here it goes. Now what we'll do is we'll get this straw picked up. Start loading it up. And we'll see you then. Alright everybody, we have uh, got one field build off. I'll do the others a little bit. I went and checked and they're still, just, they need to sit out a little bit longer, maybe dry a little bit. What we're going to do now is we're going to load these bales up in the Prairie King here so we can take them and uh, find a place to stack them. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put them underneath that shed over there this winter. I'm not I'm not entirely sure yet. They don't have the money to build another place to store them, so definitely have to uh, figure out what we're going to do there. That's a nice prairie crane, fifth wheel. Definitely, definitely nice. Came with the farm. Um, not used to using one of those. I'd really like to invest in one of those automatic pickups. Some really nice ones out there. Especially when we get in probably into square bales eventually. Some, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where we're going to end up. Well, this this works nice. Um, just take it over there and we'll dump them in front of the shed and then... Get them stacked up. That good stuff. I think we can fit uh, 10 or... Let's see, probably 3, 5, 6, maybe 12 bales on here? Twelve bales that ro loads real easy. long ones down here. As we continue to put hours on our John Deere 44. There's all kinds of stuff I want to buy. I'd love to get a skid steer. Make it stacking a bit easier. I'd love to get a skid steer. Maybe a too close to that one. Telehandler would be nice. Front loader would be nice. I mean, we're going to need... If we get into some big heavy silage making, we're definitely going to need something to scoop that stuff. There are some conveyor belts out there. Something like that. We oh. can get six on here easy, maybe seven. Squeezed it. Go with six. But yeah, that's what I'll do. 
we get the rest of the straw bailed up and the bales picked up and put away and then maybe by the next time uh, things are ready and uh, I can get all the stuff sorted out we'll be we'll be doing some silage work spend a day working on that get the, get those bunkers or one of those bunkers get some silage in it for winter so we have something to feed these cows that way I don't have to keep buying it because that stuff's expensive as always thank you guys very much for watching I really appreciate it um, thanks for coming out don't forget to like subscribe and comment and until we see you next time stay safe thanks for watching bye